everyone, this is Miss Carmen from the Fluor Public Library. I want to welcome you to our first Crafty Kitties of the Summer. And I hope you didn't have a hard time finding the materials for today. We're going to review those right now. Well, we're ready to get started. This is the final product. We will need construction paper in several colors. And you'll also need some tape and scissors. I know you will be tempted, you parents will be tempted to do a lot of the work for your little ones, but let me tell you something. They will learn the skills, the scissor skills are very hard. They probably don't know if they're left or right yet, left-handed or right-handed yet, but just work with them. I mean, if your little one is really, really frustrated, then go ahead and do more work for them. But if they are handling it, just let them do it. So I will cut the paper into strips. I'm going to get three right now. Three pink and three orange. One's for my petals. So let's count the orange ones now. We're cutting one. Two and three. Very well, and I also need a yellow one. Okay, for time saving purposes, I'm just going to put all three strips together and cut them, but you can cut each one at a, you know, separately with the kids. Again, the objective is to give them as much scissor usage practice as you can. Here you go. I kind of want my pink flowers to have round petals, so I'm going to round one of the edges. They don't have to be perfect. You can do one at a time if that's what you would like to do, but I'm just doing more than one at, at a time. I'm very fortunate my safety scissors are pretty sharp. Sometimes they are not. Not on purpose, but just very fortunate today. And I'm going to leave the orange ones just like that. I will fold the yellow piece and I will cut it into ovals or circles that will be the center part of my flowers. See? We're ready to get started with our taping part. You're going to grab Petals and tape them. Let your little ones tape them. If you prefer to use glue, that's okay. Sometimes younger kids have a difficult time handling the tape. But sometimes they don't. Yes, and just tape all the petals. You can make a three petal flower, I mean a five metal flower or a six metal petal flower. I don't think that three petals would look really like a flower, but it's your kid's imagination and skills. So let them take the lead and you just help them. Look, that's my first one. And we're going to do an orange one too. So. Let's tape the petals to the middle part. Like that. You can practice colors, you can count with them when you're doing this. Look, I added five petals. Do you guys want to count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, five petals. Uh, maybe it needs another one. What do you think? 
Yes, it does. So that would be number six. And now, again, we're going to use tape to tape the stems to the back. All done! You have two beautiful flowers that you can, you know, put on a different color paper or you can just set them on your fridge or somewhere where you are going to enjoy them for quite a while. Thanks for joining me today. Very well, we have completed our first project. I hope you had as much fun as I did and I hope you join me next week. Please check our calendar on our website to find out the materials. See you soon. Happy summer, everyone.